At the dawn of man, fire was created. And to this day, fire helps man create many things. I'm uh, Peter Wolcott. I'm uh, a student of welding. I'm a uh, <laughs> welding engineering technician, materials engineering technician, technologist, and robotics program, Conestoga College. Peter Wolcott is a 22-year-old man living in Guelph. History aside, Peter uses flames with intense heat to fuse metals. He agreed to show me how. Got to collect our material, cut it, uh, often bevel the edges, because normally metal has oxide on it. You see my gray stuff on steel. So you got to grind that off so it's a sound metal and welds better. And uh, so we prepare our, our plates like that, and then we choose our welding process according to the, the lab requirements. In my garage, I have two tanks of gas, or one's of oxygen and one is of acetylene, and uh, we blend them in our torch, makes fire, and uh, creates a very, very hot flame for welding. Peter uses flames to create tins or other knickknacks for practice. But what would make someone enter a field so heated? Well, I used to do it in high school a little bit, and that's what uh, really sparked my interest. I like, I like skilled trades. They pay a lot of money, and I... I yeah, uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> lots of fun. Fun aside, the need for skilled workers changes over time. So I asked Peter, how does his future look? Uh, right now, there's not a lot of welding jobs because of the silly recession. But uh, for me, there'd be, when I'm done my program, it'd be more um, like engineering type stuff. So planning stuff and then telling other people to weld instead of me doing it. It's interesting, but uh, it's hard to follow sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>